Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back. Let's play Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. We last left off. We finished up our mission in Junon with Sephiroth coming at us. Um, basically, uh, Hollander managed to escape to uh, fellas with wings, basically came, came over and carried him away. Sephiroth was uh, disappointed and basically said, maybe maybe that Genesis fella's still out there somewhere. And then, then we call a glimpse of Genesis doing his weird, loveless recitation. That's all part of the past right now because uh, all, all that matters right now is us getting uh, a flower wagon for Little Miss in Gainsborough. What are these things? A new automated mobile weapon. They automatically detect and attack monsters. Arms development deployed these in Midgar as an anti-Genesis copy measure. These new models were able to eliminate most of the copies inside Midgar, apparently. Hmm, that's pretty impressive. Why the heck was I attacked then? Can't they tell the difference between soldier, soldier operatives and monsters? <clears throat> Currently, no. That's good. By the way, Sung. I'm annoyed with you, too. You were spying on Aerith again, weren't you? Huh! Don't walk away from me, boy. If you want to play with Aerith, you're welcome to do so. I'm just fulfilling my duties as a Turk. I'm not playing with Aerith. I'm fulfilling my duties as a soldier to protect... Oh, Mr. Soldier. I heard you making a flower wagon. I'll help you so you can make it really fancy. So you can surprise Aerith. No, no. This isn't what you think. This is for protect a Sung. Sung is not amused. I'm not really sure, again, like, my Final Fantasy VII memories are not that, like, great or whatever. But I don't really remember Sung being as, like, stoic as he is in this game. But then again, like the Turks, in fact, in, uh, in actual Final Fantasy VII, the Turks are sort of bit players in it, if, from my memory. Whereas here, they're a lot more important. In order to build a flower wagon, we need four things. Tools, wood, tires, and instructions. Look around the Shinra building, Sector 8, and the Sector 5 slums for items to make Aerith a flower wagon. Let's see, we're still missing tools, wood, tires, instructions. We should get some tools first. We might find some in the ground. There's some perfectly useful stuff just lying around here. Now, I think that's actually... I, I read a bit about the... Um, one of those things that I got for... Yeah, this... Um, apparently this is like, can be used for... I'm not sure if this here can be used, but um... Some of the stuff that uh... You can get by... In those squat tournaments, apparently can make a good flower wagon. What? Oh, nice, we got some tools.
Let's head to the market. This is an official notification of the change in status for the following personnel. Lazard de Sericus, Director of Soldier, killed in action. Hollander, Science Department, killed in action. Interesting. So we want to look for some wood. This is the market, correct? So this is the street. Here's the market. He did say the the market, right? That's where the wood was. Here's some wood. What do you think you're doing? Huh. I guess we're just lying around. Is it yours? It was not just lying around. I put it there. Who are you? What do you want? Well... Mm-hmm. A flower wagon for a girl named Aerith. I see. I'm a carpenter living in Sector 7 slums. I'm here in Sector 5 to buy some materials. I can give you some wood. Oh, really? That that would be great. But on one condition. I'm building um, a bar in the Sector 7 slums. I want you to come up with a name for it. A name for a bar? Mm-hmm. A name would give me a visual image to work off of. <laughs> I've been racking my brain for some time, but I can't seem to come up with anything hip. That's easy. Now, I'm not quite sure if um, we can just choose anything, but uh, the canon choice, I'm pretty sure here, is Seventh Heaven. Seventh Heaven, a piece of paradise in Sector 7. Seventh Heaven? Hmm, it's simple and it's a nice concept. Yes, I can picture it. Maybe there will be a young girl tending the bar. Sounds good. Oh, well, that's stupid. <laughs> yes, yes. A big bosom. Long legs. Just a, just a killer figure. Hur, <laughs> hur. <laughs> yeah, now you're talking. And underneath the bar is a secret room. An underground hideout. Now that's a perfect slums bar. It would make a perfect base for an anti shindrich group. Uh, I kind of work for Shinra. Soldier, in fact. Uh, anyway, I like the name. I'm getting all sorts of visuals from it. Thanks, Spart. I'll give you some of my wood, as promised. So that there, basically, um, Final Fantasy VII character Tifa um, works at a, it is, is a bartender for a bar called Seventh Heaven, and so you get the name. You could say that that's how Seventh Heaven got its name. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't actually know if um, you're able to. Uh, like, if I named it something else, I'm not sure what would happen. Like, uh, if he would say, like, oh, no, that's not a good name. But, uh, what he said there about the big bosom and the long leg, like, that was, that was stupid. That was stupid. Um. 
That's crazy. I think it's just like, in Final Fantasy VII itself, like, I don't think that Tifa does have a remarkably large bosom. And in Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, I don't think Tifa has a remarkably large bosom. But for some reason, like, she, like she's sort of known as being, like, having this remarkably large bosom. It's very, very, very strange. I knew it was somewhere in the market, but I couldn't remember exactly where. Tires, wheels, cars. What car? Is there a car anywhere? I actually don't even know what he's talking about. Save it. I want to try to head to, um... I think this might be the park. That's the street. To the other... I think the other um, path is to the park. I want to try to maybe get back into, uh... Well, there's, this, there's the park. I want to get to what should we call it? Oh my gosh, this mail! I want to get to uh, the Shinra place so I can see if uh, I can talk to those people about my fans or whatever. Those copies Hollander made that Shinra attacked. Did you know that Director Lazard financed Hollander with money he embezzled from the company? Seems, re seems revenge against the company was the motivation for both of them. I can understand Hollander wanting revenge, but why would Lazard? He climbed up the ladder while he was still young, and he was always a decent guy. What could he have had against uh, the company? I, I do remember him writing about ill blood in one of his mails. Speaking of climbing up, the president's son already made vice president. You think Lazard was after the VP's chair? This looks this looks here, fellow. He really, really likes us. I'm honestly not really sure where this car is that, that the boy was talking about. But there is a, um, like a display kind of place in the, the Shinra building. Actually, I have no idea what she's talking about. Oh my gosh, what do you want, people? The gift of the goddess, the source of life, is set to bring immortality. The most widely accepted theory equates the gift of the goddess to the Benora Rite. There is, however, another theory which advocates that it is the planet, not any human, that becomes immortal. This suggests two other interpretations of the gift. One is an all-consuming destruction, the other is an all-healing salvation. Genesis believed in the latter, predicting some sort of salvation from the gift of the goddess. Alright. 
Oh, this here's a car. Can I take your wheels, buddy? Might ask him for his wheels in a second. Not sure whether we're talking about my fans. I seems like I I just assume that people would be here. Like maybe there's a, a certain person you need to talk to. Yeah, can I just like have uh, some tires of your car? That's nice. Oh man, oh, that's good. So I, I, I know exactly where it is. But in case, I, I, if we want to build like a really, really nice one for Aerith, I'm going to go back to the Shinra building. And I'm going to do some squats or whatever. And I'm going to get me some stuff for to um get a nice, some, some nice parts. So soldier floor. What I'll do is, what I'll likely do is, I'm going to cut the video I think here. And then we'll, when we begin next time, we'll be looking for the instructions and we'll have some really nice wagon parts. But until then, folks, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll go solid. Actually, if I, considering if I do that, if I do um get these uh, new parts, I think it actually might make... um. This entire video sort of null and void. Oh well. <laughs> but uh, next time we'll uh, see about continuing this trek to get a uh, a flower wagon. So until then, hope you enjoyed. Till next time, look it out.